earlier, we were talking about stunts. And, you know, I was talking to Fred about how he did this one stunt in Inglorious Bastards yeah. where he jumped off a bridge onto a moving train yeah. in real life. Not, not CGI, yeah. <laughs> like an actual bridge onto a moving train. And I assumed that if you somehow missed the train, you would fall to the ground right, and die. See you later. But right. you don't question shit. Like, if you know your capabilities and, you've, and you're in shape, you're not just a fat-ass actor trying to be a, a physical hero. I am a physical person. I work out. I'm in shape. Like yeah, he can but you don't off. work out jumping on moving trains. That's not no, <laughs> part but, of your workout routine. No, but my courage allows me to jump on a okay. fucking moving train, knowing that if I fall off the train, I can grab something and hold on to because I'm athletic. I ain't gonna be, I ain't gonna be bouncing on a train and go, ah, help me. <laughs> no, sir. I, I mean, Michael, would you do a stunt like that? Jump on a mo moving train? Yes. It depends, man. Depends. And how fast is it moving? How fast was the train moving? Was <laughs> it full speed? Uh, 35 miles an hour. 35 miles an hour. Yeah, I've done some dumb stuff. I, you know, <laughs> I hung off a, a damn helicopter in, um, in uh, Exit Wounds. Okay. It, I did it better than the stunt guy, so... Yeah. Yeah, and it was fun. I I like challenging myself. You, you know, you ch you know your limitations. You know, if you question your limitations, mm -hmm. you don't fucking do it. Mm. You know, you guys both do a lot of fight scenes, and you know, you talked about how you didn't really have any bad situations with people trying to actually punch you and stuff like that. You know, we've talked about Michael how you know working with like Steven Seagal, he would actually punch some of the mm -hmm. you know stunt doubles and everything else like that. What is you know your overall take when it comes to these types of things? Well, my rule is I don't I don't really do fights with actors, cause you want to get hurt, you want to get an oop shot, do a fucking actor. Let the stunt man double. Let the stunt man come and double. Then you got a real chance to really do some good shit and some th good break down some furniture and go through some windows and shit like that. <laughs> you can only do that with a stunt man. You can't do it with a fucking actor because you say okay on three they're gonna say action and here's what you do you duck throw a right hook okay action now wait hold it motherfucker. Hold it, slow down. You don't listen to me now. Throw the left, then throw the right. You might get knocked out fucking with an actor trying to be a stuntman. I don't do stunts with actors. Mm. Michael? I agree. I agree. Um, and for, for myself, I've always hated bullies. And I, if I'm in a lead role, my thing is I don't want to hurt anybody. Sometimes it's, sometimes it's to my detriment because there's times where like somebody tells me, okay, I'll take a body shot and I'm not going to, and I hold up on the body shot. Don't want, I don't want to hit him uh, fully. But then I look at the movie and I go, it looks like I held back. Right. So sometimes it goes against me because uh, I, I feel like, you know, I, I don't want to hurt anybody. Of course, I don't want to get hurt, mm -hmm. but I, you know, not. But that's what I get. That's, that's against a nun stunt, stunt man, though, an actor. So hit me. And they fucking hit the actor. Yeah, you know damn well. There's it. some fun guys who sometimes think that they can yeah, take a hit. But they can't do that. And, and you know, I don't want to sound arrogant, but you have my hit ain't the normal hit. I've been if I didn't kick like a million times with the same damn leg, it's not gonna be what you think it's gonna be. Mm -hmm. You know, if I didn't so it is so a lot of times, uh like I would have somebody wear pads or whatever. And then I feel better like hitting them for a blast. And then I'm not selling out for the audience. I, I want to be able to really do so, but I don't want to hurt people. The oop shots only come when you do action with actors. Mm. You got always going to be a oop shot. You got some oop shots? Oh, oop yeah, shots yeah. along the way? Oh, yeah. You know, yeah. you tell a guy, you know, you, you set it up and you're supposed to throw a, a right, I'm going to duck and then and it says action. And he gets all frustrated. And, Bam! You get what the fuck. <laughs> you know, what the fuck are you doing, man? They get they get frustrated and they get intimidated, not intimidated, but wired up. You know, like let's go, let's go. No, wait, hold it, man. Yeah, my scariest fight scene in years, probably in ten years, was the fight scene I had with my wife. <laughs> did you, you read, did you did you see my comments on oh you guys kicking? Oh my god! You see my comments on you guys working on your bag? Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Kicking left, kicking right. <laughs> but I, I train my wife. Like, I train her in a way because ain't nobody else training with us. Mm -hmm. I train her in a way where she doesn't know how good she was. Like, so I have her hitting to where she can move me. Which, like, I'm like, 
Nope, that hip ain't right. I'm I'm drilling in perfect technique to where she hits like a freaking mule. But I never told her not how to hold, <laughs> how to, you know. How to not do that on set. Not hit from somebody for real. <laughs> and so here I am doing a, a fight scene with her going, oh, damn. Now she getting nervous. Sometimes she forgets her choreography. Yeah. And there was a few times where she's supposed to punch right here and she, and she punched her toward the face. And I was like... And that fist was right there, and I'm like, yeah, yeah. Let's try that again. Let's, let's ease up on that. And realize, yo, if she hits me, she going to knock my teeth out. Yeah. Because she don't know. And and she, when we did her movie, she did the lead in the movie, Um, what do you call it? Uh, uh Damn it. Um, yeah, no, motherfucker. Yes, that's what happened. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Take back. Take back, right? She's doing take back, right? And... She's got to do this this fight scene, like, and this guy Jay Giannone, she's got to hit him. She's and we give him a pad and everything else. Oh, I'll be fine. She knocked the shit out of him, mm. and she doesn't know because if you throw technique yeah, properly, yeah. Yeah. you don't feel it, but the other person does. Yeah. So she's not understanding. Well, why is why is Jay getting an extra pad? Because you, you you damn near like you're killing him. Uh, the mo the movie we just did that I uh, well another movie that we did I can't even I gotta remember I can't <laughs> I can't re I can't I can't say movies right now should I look up your IMDb page no 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 no, no. <laughs> strike wise I can't talk about yeah I can't talk oh, okay, about got it. other movies unmentionable movies <laughs> <laughs> there's movies that she would do where she's hurting people mm. and a movie we recently did. She clocked this dude by accident and he was he was shook. And he's like, I never knew a woman could hit me that hard. So, so you know, that's so what are we gonna do with all this material, man. You're selling all this fucking material. We're gonna <laughs> do it all. Do all this every, every material. last second of it. I mean, as as two two men that have done so many fight scenes, what do, what do you think is really the secret of having a great fight scene play out on camera? What's the secret? What's the secret sauce? I mean, great fight scene versus, I don't know, like a dolomite fight scene where you kick the guy and he falls into like someone's trunk and you know, it's completely silly. Well, don't do anything that you're not capable of doing. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. If you can't kick, don't try to kick. <laughs> 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 you know, if you're gonna throw me a kick and then you're gonna go past my knee, don't do that. <laughs> Cause then it's bullshit. <laughs> if you want to do a John Wayne fight, then that's a little different, okay? But don't try to be a martial artist if you don't really know what the fuck you're doing. Mm. Cause then it's silly. So for me, it's the kind of fight you want to do and the kind of fight that you're capable of doing. Then I can accommodate you and I can go either way you want to go, but don't give me some shit that you want to go, ah, ooh, get the fuck out of here, man. <laughs> Did he tell you the Diane Carroll stuff? Oh yeah. <laughs> we went to all that. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, I remember the first time he told me that stuff. Yeah, I was like, oh man, okay. Oh, final question for Fred <laughs> before I let you go. Who do you think is the best hammer of all time? You, Hank the Hammer Aaron, or MC Hammer? Hank Aaron was the greatest hammer in baseball. Mm -hmm. Fred Williamson was the greatest hammer in football. Okay. What was that other turkey? MC Hammer. MC Hammer was the greatest singer hammer ever. <laughs> There you go. Everyone's got, the, got their crowd. Everyone's got their crowd. Fred the Hammer Williamson, man, such an honor. I've been a longtime fan. You know, you look all of 40 years old right now. I don't know how you do it. I eat black jelly beans. Don't eat the white ones. They screw you Just up. Just the black jelly beans? <laughs> you know, can I say your age? Yeah, 85. 85 years old. Yeah. Incredible. I can't Incredible. Is there, is there a secret to being this healthy, yeah. this good looking at 85? Yeah. Don't give a shit. Don't give a shit. Yeah. Nothing stresses me. Nothing stresses you. No. Yeah. My car got stolen, blown up. I don't give a shit. I'll find somebody to go get that mother and get him. I got, I'll put him in my next movie. Go find my car, go get the people, and I get a part of my next movie. Mm. You're going to work it out. Everything can be worked out. <laughs> you, know? you, you don't get depressed because things happen. I don't, it's hard to depress me. That's what it is. I love don't it. light your cigar. You just hold it the whole time. <laughs> that's, 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 that's the key. Ah, <laughs> oh, I love it, man. Till next time. Yeah. Peace. Been fun.